What is up, beautiful people? Ron here, and welcome back to the channel. As promised, today I will be sharing with you how to reframe and edit your 360 content so that you can get shots like this. you guys in this tutorial I will walk you through the basics of editing 360 content in the GoPro app using key frames it's really simple by the way <laughs> all right number one how to get started on creating your reframe project number two how to insert a keyframe and three how to freeze a frame and finally how do you change the transition within the project let's dive right in once you have downloaded your 360 content onto the GoPro app, go ahead to open your media gallery to preview it. I'm just gonna work on something that I've done recently, a little zip lining activity. And yo, as you can see, you can either use the gyro to preview your content, but my preferred method is this thing called pinching. You know, where I can pinch to zoom in or zoom out to my desired frame. Okay, so to get started on creating your reframe project, go ahead to tap that bullseye icon at the bottom to create a new project. So the first thing that you want to do here is to set an aspect ratio for your edit by tapping the bottom right icon. And to answer that question of what aspect ratio to choose, simply ask yourself, where do you intend to share this edit? For me, I am doing this edit for YouTube. For you guys! <laughs> That's right, so that is why I am going to go ahead with 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is a long format that is optimized for the YouTube platform. All right, so now that we got that down, let's figure out how do we insert some keyframes into our project. Now that you've got your aspect ratio down, let's insert our keyframes. And to do that, simply, you know, Choose a desired frame by pinching hmm, or scrubbing through your project and once you're satisfied, go ahead and tap that blue bullseye icon to register your first keyframe. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another one um, right up front here. Okay? And let's check that out. Alright, you guys are going for a zip line. Okay, go. Three. And that's it, you know, it's really simple. The GoPro app does it all for you, you know, as you saw it pan. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna repeat these steps over the course of my video, you know, to finish up the edit. So, you know, as I zip line down, you know, I see another cool moment. I'm gonna have add another keyframe here. As I spin around, I wanna make sure that I am tracking my body. So I'm gonna frame it up this way to add another keyframe. Zip line true, okay. I wanna make it more realistic, so I don't want the rope to bend like crazy. I'm gonna zoom in onto myself as I throw out my tongue. <laughs> All right, zip line through. Make sure I catch myself again. I don't wanna miss myself. Okay, zip line, zip line, zip line. All right, I am going backwards now, okay. Um, let me try out. Okay, I'm gonna do a tiny planet here. You know, as I enter the forest. Why not? Um, as I come in, I'm gonna uh, zoom into my face again and I finish the project. Um, check out my friends over there. Um, let's spin back to me. And let's see how that goes. And that's it. And that's it. Um, so let's check it out. All right, you guys should be going for a zip line. Okay, go. Three, three, two, one. Nice, notice you see how it spins and it's tracking me. That's it, you know. Alright, at this portion here, notice that, you know, I spin outside, you know. So to, to change that edit, what I can do is that I can either hover in the middle here, I can add a subsequent keyframe. You know, I want it to be framed up like this. So, and then I'm going to add another keyframe in the middle. So this is what it'll look like. There you go. You know, 
so I am always in the free. Alright. Go ahead, go ahead, go. Tiny planet back here. Yeah, zooming in on my friends and voila! I made it to the end. Okay, let's tighten up the closing bit like this. And that's it! You know, it's really that simple to create a very short and simple edit. Alright you guys, I hope that you are enjoying today's video. And if you are, please hit the like button, drop in a comment and subscribe to the channel. While you're at it, hey, turn on your notification so that you know when I upload my weekly videos. Um, at the same time, I am going to put the link to my previous video here. Yeah, three tips you need to know on the GoPro Max to get that shot. So, go check that video after you're done with this. In the meantime, let's get back to our edit. Now that you have added keyframes into your entire timeline, technically you are done with your edit. So if you're satisfied, hey, go ahead and hit the save button and export it. But let me take this opportunity to share two amazing tips with you. First of which, how do you insert a freeze frame into your video? That is it's as straightforward as it is. You see that stopwatch icon at the bottom? Tap it and then you would see a stopwatch icon on your timeline. What you want to do, find a desired frame again and when you're done with that, like this frame over here, I'm going to hit that stopwatch icon in order to register that freeze frame. As you see on screen, I can then select the duration on my, on my freeze frame. I'm just going to go ahead with 2 seconds, so let's see what that looks like. Nice! And the thing that I like about the freeze frame is that it emphasizes a certain moment. Uh, next up, you know, it's another of my favorite tip. It's how do you manage your transition between one keyframe to the next? What do I mean? For example, in this instance here, you know, as I pivot from, from this point to this point to this point, it looks kind of shaky, you know, it's a bit jarring because it's moving so fast. So how do I go about changing that transition? What I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to tap that icon that is above, you know, that is above the two keyframes. So I'm going to simply tap that icon and what I am introduced, I am introduced to five amazing transition templates. So by default, is both is the default for iOS and that is great, you know, for fast action scenes, you know, if you want to change from one point to another point to another point, you know, but in this particular scene, it doesn't work that well because, you know, I, I am actually rotating, you know, out of the frame. So what I want to do is I'm going to select the linear transition instead, whereas that gives me a more cinematic pen, you know, as I'm going from point A to point B. So let's check that out. Okay, I'm going to change this, change this, and change this. And let's check out this transition that I've done over here. Okay? Yeah, see, it's panning. You know, it's it's slow, nice pan. I'm panning wide, I'm panning backwards again. And, then, and that's it, you know, it's really that straightforward, you know, to create amazing transitions. Um, and yeah, go ahead to adjust the rest of the transitions if you like. It's a deep fit. I'm really very satisfied with my current project. And hey, that is it. It is that simple and straightforward to edit your, and reframe your 360 content in the GoPro project. And when you're done and satisfied, I'm going to hit the save button to render my project. And that's it, you guys. It is really that simple to edit your 360 content on your mobile device. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, edit it right now. And that's it for this week's video, you guys. As always, let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, hey, that's what the comment box is for. And you guys know that I really appreciate all the comments that you input and I reply to each and every one of them. So I am looking forward to it. And till then, I will see you guys in the next upload. Bye! <laughs> Let's dive right in.
by the way. <laughs> 